Okay, so um, average speed. Okay, again, speed is the absolute value of the slope. There is no sign. Okay, there's no positive, there's no negative. It is a scalar quantity. This is really big. Okay, speed is scalar. Okay, um, and it is measured in meters per second. You must, must, must know these units. I'm, I don't know any way to say it besides you must know the units. That's something you need to know. You need to, if you see meters per second in a problem, you need to know that that's either speed or velocity and be able to tell which. And I'll show you how. So um, speed is just distance divided by time. Okay, that's our formula. And then velocity, um, it's measured in meters per second as well. But it is a vector quantity. Okay, so velocity has a V. Vector has a V. Velocity is a vector quantity. That means velocity has um, a speed and a direction. So um, the actual sign of the slope, whether it's positive or negative, that's considered the direction. And so um, that's the vector part of the velocity. And um, so the vector, the velocity is just distance divided by time. But um, we, we can't do instantaneous velocity. That requires calculus and derivatives and things like that, which we don't do in here. But um, you can get the average velocity, and that's your final distance minus your initial distance over your um, final time minus your initial time. And if you remember um, slope, right? Slope is... Um, Your change in y. Over your change in x. And you can see here position or distance is on the y-axis. And that's what we have up here. And that's what we have here. And time is on the x-axis, which is what is here and here. So you can see that it's basically just the equation for slope. And it's nice because velocity is your slope. Okay, so velocity is just your change in distance over your change in time. And a lot of times, these initial distance and initial time will be zero, like I told you before. So um, let's, let's do some problems. We have um, a graph of a student, and he's riding a skateboard along a smooth pedestrian free sidewalk. What is his average velocity? What is his average speed? Okay, now... To figure out his velocity, all they've given us is a position time graph. So we have to figure out the slope. Okay? Velocity equals the slope and speed equals the absolute value of the slope. Okay, and you can see that the slope for this one is positive, but we'll work it out and you'll see that as well. And so both of these will end up being positive. So if we want to do his velocity, we're going to do our final distance, right? That's our y minus our initial distance. And then our final time minus your initial time. Now, you can use any point on this graph, it doesn't matter to me which ones that you use, but um, I personally, just to make my math a little easier, I always pick points that um, intersect the lines, like these, like this one and this one. You see how that one's a little off, and that one's a little off there, and that one's a little off, and that one's a little off, and that's a lot-ish off. I like to pick two that... Um, that actually intersect both lines because it's easier to figure out the time and the distance. And another thing that I like to do is, if possible, if it goes through the origin, I like to pick that one too because it's zero and it's really easy to do math with zeros. Okay, so my final distance, that's this one up here, okay, and it is 12. Okay, so we have 12 meters. Our initial distance, we're using the point at the origin, so our initial distance is zero. And then um, 
our final time we have this point right here we can follow this line down and it's seven so that's seven seconds and again right here it's through the origin so our time is zero so we end up having 12 meters divided by seven seconds okay and if you actually do the math for this it is 1.71 meters per second okay now since this is the velocity um, you can emphasize that it's a positive by drawing the positive or you can just leave it um, without the positive and I know that it's positive and then if you write a negative I know it's negative and then you really need to make sure you have the units I will take off points for units I'm not even kidding and another thing um, for you to see is that um, we actually have meters per second here and so you know you've set it up right because your units are looking right so that's kind of a little check to make sure that you're doing the math right um, now the speed okay is just the absolute value of the slope so to get the speed we'll just take 1.71 and take the absolute value which is just 1.71 if it had been negative 1.71 your speed would be positive but in this one in this case they're both positive and they're both 1.71 okay now um, average velocity so this position or this um, formula is exactly the same as the um, average velocity formula you've already seen. They just kind of um, set it up a little differently. Um, if you take this negative di and subtract it from both sides, and this is actually your df, you have um, df minus di, let's make this look a little more like a d, equals V over T and then you just have T divide both sides by T and you have so you can see this is exactly the same formula this is just like a TF with your initial T being zero so that's all they've done there it's exactly the same formula it's just set up a little differently